All right, what up guys? So today we're playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 for the PS2. Love this song, oh my god. All right, so today we're playing Budokai 3 for the PS2, like I said. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, so since I played like all the Budokai's on Infinite World on this, I got all that stuff. Hey, it's me. Choose an opponent and fight it out to see who's the strongest. Alright, cool. So I'm familiar to this music, but only because of the uh, Shin Budokai games. Uh, let's see. So this is a weird video. Count this as a more of a bonus video because, um... I have played Budokai 3 before, but only on the HD collection version, so yeah, um, that was back in 2012. Let's just have a random fight, let's go up against, Aspic, uh, random, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, maybe completely random. So the stupid Cyberman loading screen. I have a little story for you guys, which uh, I'll explain a little bit. So, hold on. Wow. You look like you can handle this. You look like you can handle this. So, last time I played any Budokai style game was a while. So, let's see if I still know how to do stuff. And also, I've been playing a lot of like, you know, Ultimate Battle 22, GT Final Bout, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, Okay, we're doing good so far. Okay, I do have some stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm really rusty. So what I was saying about that loading screen, um, I actually bought this game about two years after it released, uh, back in PS2, uh, back in PS2. Yeah, back in the PS2 days. Um, just a second. Oh, crap. And my copy was so broken that uh, all I would do was load up the Cybermen, uh, like you know, after the menu, and I couldn't play the game. So at a moment there was like a hundred freaking uh, Cybermen, <laughs> and after that I couldn't see anything. So I was like really upset about that, and I couldn't find a copy of the game for a long time after. And that was kind of why I bought the PS2 in the first place um, to play this game. But yeah, so I didn't really get to till uh, the HD collection, and that was different from this version. Uh, so the difference of this one and that is that uh, obviously that one looks better, but uh, this one's less censored, and also has a uh, different music. Which, in my opinion, there's a lot better music in this. Uh, just knowing that the like this is the soundtrack from Shin Budokai um, One and Another Road. See if I know how to. Oh crap, crap. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a little rusty. Let's pick triangle and see what happens. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. I'll get the hang of it. Hopefully I don't lose this one. I don't think I will. Let's just see. Oh crap. Forgot how to uh, snap at it. Oh man, I might lose. Just gotta be careful. Ah, oh, fuck. idiot? <laughs> Let's try Tien this time. Let's go up against Piccolo. Yeah. Actually, this is pretty surprisingly good at loading right now. Um, 
never knew how like long it would take, but it's pretty quick. And it still looks really nice, even though this is on the HD collection version. Are you ready for me? I always like the uh, little animation uh, or art style they had for Budokai 2 and Onward for the uh, 2D uh, style of fighter games. Sorry if I'm being a little quiet, but that's what I need for uh, for me to get good. <laughs> also, it's a little weird going from uh, Infinite World to this, which I think that was the last uh, 2D game I played, uh, like Budokai style, not like the PS1 games I've been playing recently. Big circle, let's see. So this Dragon Rush is another reason why I didn't really like like the game when I got in the HD collection. I mean I really liked it, but I mean uh it was a little disappointing that it had this feature. <clears throat> and only because I kinda wish I could turn off the option. But uh um, Well I didn't find any way to do that, so. I should have known he was going to do that. So yeah, this is kind of a first impressions, but also not really because I did play the HD collection version. Um, actually, let me check what costumes I have for Goku. Oh. You know what? I want to use that one instead. And then... Huh. How about we all go up again? Let's go Bardock, I guess. Yeah, alright. So yeah, the thing is, I'm just like... Such a resemblance. <laughs> I'm so excited. Forgot about that. <laughs> um, I'm really excited for Dragon Ball Fighters. That's coming out, uh, what? In the, the 26th. So, it's the 25th when I'm making this. So yeah, I just want to play some 2D fighters. So, uh, like this one, I know it's a really good one. So. And it's perfect timing. I've never played this version, so yeah, I thought it would be good to uh, play it and give my initial thoughts. Um, Sorry, I'm still kind of bad at talking and fighting at the same time uh, with this game. Okay, what else do I have? Can I transform? Okay, good. KO can, yeah, that's not... <sighs> it shouldn't have bothered, bothered me that much, but it kind of did. KO can instead of Kaio can. So I didn't fix that for the HD collection. I don't think it would have been that hard to, but I don't know. Let's see if I could transform again. No, I can't. All right, that's fine. Do I have any special moves? I don't think I do. Oh, I do. All right, cool. Spirit bomb. I think you gotta press circle in this game. Oh, that was really good, actually. <laughs> That was pretty fun. All right. Hey, adjust by or set. Okay, so we don't have that build-up mode yet. Uh, let's do some story mode stuff. Actually, no. Um, let me do some world tournament first. Please choose your fighting class. Oh, I can't pick these. All right, that's fine. Please select the number of players. 
How about we go with, um, I want to do Tian stuff, yeah, some gameplay with him. Uh, how do we change colors? I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think so. That's fine. I think the last thing I did with uh, any of the Budokai's on my channel was the uh, the reviews of the What If characters for Budokai 2. Like, you know, um, Tiancha, uh, Super Buu, uh, when he absorbs Frieza, Tien, Yamcha, and Cell. What else? Uh, Gokyo was also in there, although he's kind of like theor theoretical What If, because he did kind of show up in the series, but only for uh, what would happen if Goku and uh, Rikyo fused. So yeah, I have a long little gameplay of like each of those characters, so if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description. Because, um, you know, I have this series where I'm breaking down all the what-ifs from the uh, video games. And I just remember, this game also has a few, not characters, I don't think, but uh, little story mode stuff. So, I guess if they're long enough, I might do videos on them. If it's just like throwaway lines, then probably not. So we're doing good so far. The winner! Are you ready for me? Shall we get started? Both to center! Also before this, I was doing some um I was participating in Dragon Ball Z Pictionary from uh, World King Kanji, his second video. And uh his second stream I should say. And I did really good. <laughs> you guys should check that out. It's pretty funny stuff. Um, yeah, you won't believe the ending. <laughs> oh crap, no way. I don't think I get any money from this. Yeah, alright, that's fine. So yeah, I have a link for that thing too if you guys want to check it out. Okay. Let's do Yamcha's because I think it'll be the shortest one. I had even forgotten that he had a story mode. Long, long ago. Goku had many adventures while searching for the seven magic Dragon Balls. With his trusted friends by his side, Goku successfully battled many powerful foes. Until... The Earth was attacked by a mysterious warrior race. And so, a new battle begins. Oh yeah, it actually looks really nice. Um, a lot of people actually like don't really understand the fact that Yamcha was trained by God. Yes, his name's Kami, but like that's literally God. Oh, what's that? Oh yeah, how do I? Uh, let's see. What's the search button? I forgot. Huh? I don't remember. Hmm. Oh wait, does it say right there? Backward fly, forward rotate. Uh, oh, R1. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let me turn myself real quick. Hmm. 
no bonus for me there. All right, uh, how do I bring up the pop-up? Okay, uh, and then R1 was for this. How far can I see? I don't even know. Oh, I think that's actually a battle, but with a Cyberman, I don't want to do that. Or Cyberman, depending on the translation, or I mean, what dub. <laughs> That's weird, he just sends to Corrin's tower, but he's training with Kami. Okay, let's give it to... Oh, let's go for attack. Yep, that that thing that Kami just said that was the only reason he uh, lost to the Cyberman. Cyberman, God, <laughs> sorry guys. I'll handle this. No, Krillin, you've already been wished back once. It won't work a second time. Leave it to me. I've got a couple special moves that'll fry these guys in no time. Stand back, guys. I got this one. I'll show them that we mean business. Come on. The only uh, reason I'm apologizing is because I'm not being consistent with uh, how I say the names. Uh, I'm switching back and forth. I'm trying not to do that. Cause either way it's correct for like what I'm trying to say and stuff, so. Oh, I think it said I can't block. Okay, crap. I think that would be an insta-kill for this match, so. Oh man. I'm worried, I think he's gonna get me. Oh, he didn't grab on, so that's okay. Your little monster wasn't as strong as you thought, huh? <laughs> I'd say your celebration is still a bit premature. I wonder if this covers the filler, I don't remember. Ended off the Saiyan onslaught. Goku opts to spare Vegeta's life. Mark my words, you'll pay for this, Kakarot. You and all of your friends. If it does have filler, the next fight would be against Raccoon, I think. Krillin, Gohan, and Bulma travel to Namek in the hopes of reviving their fallen friends. Yeah, since they're talking about Namek, it's probably what's gonna happen. Gohan and oh, I guess not. <laughs> return safely to We're just skipping that stuff. To the Namekian Dragon Balls. However. Goku remains on Namek to resolve things with Frieza. The battle is so intense that the planet itself begins to crumble. The pictures they use are really, really nice. Thinking there was no way Goku could have survived, Bulma tries to wish him back to life. However, the wish is refused. Goku survived, and he relays a message that he will return by himself. With everyone alive again, Gohan waits impatiently for his father's return. So they just passed all the Namek stuff. So I'm gonna fight uh, Jiro next. Uh, okay. So, here. Okay, how do I do that again? Okay. I want to explore actually, um, let's see, uh, R1, right, okay, so not used to this, let's try to find, um, let's see, Kami House, or Kami House, uh, let's see, oh, actually it should be in the other side, huh, um, let's 
see anything here. Baba's place right there. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, am I passing it or let's see? Man, I'm not used to this controls. <laughs> there it is. Okay, um, <laughs> so that should be telling me that there's no uh, bonus story missions for this, but uh, for the little storylines they're talking about. But uh, let me just see what else I could find. Alright, I guess I'll just go over there now then. Okay, uh, turn myself this way and... Okay. No! Where'd he go? Excuse me, have you seen anyone suspicious around here? Is this Goku? No, he does not match the data. Even so, this may be a good chance to absorb some energy! Ha! All right, what did I call him earlier? Jero or Garo? Again, both are right. <laughs> oh, crap, crap. Oh, okay, good. Even in 2012, that blew my mind when I saw that. I'm like, that's so awesome that they uh, put that in there. Because, you know, the uh, previous step was Budokai 2 for me. Uh, let me see what else. Actually, no, I think I played Shin Budokai 1 and then this one uh, for the HD collection. have passed since the battle with Cell. Now a student in high school, Gohan also fights crime in Hercule City as Great Saiyaman. Hercule's daughter, Videl, threatens to expose him if he does not enter the world tournament. Hesitant at first, Gohan changes his mind when he learns that Goku will also enter. Vegeta, Gohan's brother Goten, Trunks, Piccolo, and Krillin all sign up as well. But little do they know, the wizard Bobbity is about to launch a plan to revive Majin Buu. 
Okay, so I know we're gonna get a little <laughs> nerdy right now, but uh, technically, wouldn't Dr. Jiro be a cyborg too, just like 17 and 18? Because uh, he still has um, Jiro's brain. So, you know, that's one human part in him in that robot body. So, I think the only like actual, um, I guess, android in that scenario when it was only uh, 19 and 20 would be 19. Wait, actually, no, I want to see about that story mode stuff um, that was added. Let's see, uh, where do I go? How about... Uh, nothing in there. What about... Well, it doesn't seem like they continued it. Um, oh well. The years sure have flown by since the battle with Majin Buu. It's been nice not having to fight for so long. But today, I'm back in battle mode. For once, I can actually win the world tournament. There's only one guy I have to beat. Vegeta. Yeah, now the memories are coming back to me. I really like this, uh, what if, er, well, it's kind of short, but I like that they added it. Tien. Come on, Yamcha. I'll show you what a world martial arts champion can do. Champion? Hey, you're talking about ancient history, pal. Too easy. That's weird. Okay, so, um... Hmm. Do I beat Tien and then I fight Vegeta? Or is that one of Vegeta's story mode uh, related stuff? Because I do remember a battle between Yamcha and Vegeta. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I forgot how to do a spur bomb, or, or spur ball, my bad. I think I have to do it um after the dragon rush, like make sure I win everything. How about X? Ah, crap. Or maybe I just need enough key and then do it like I did the spur bomb earlier, like on this video. But we're not gonna feed on this match. Title on you. But you guys gotta check out that match in the anime. In Dragon Ball, that shit was a cool ass fight. <laughs> well, actually, I kind of made a promise to lose in the final. And besides, I think your claim to the title has been expired for a while now. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, it is the end. All right. So I guess that was a Vegeta story mode thing, or is a secret one for this one? Yamcha threw the final against the champion Hercule. However, 
His newfound confidence led to rumors of him challenging Goku and Vegeta. Yep, there's the end. Ah. <laughs> Love that music, man. So, you guys probably know, the plagiarism is why this music wasn't in the HD collection. Um, and then as for the censorship in the, uh, you know, like for example, when Broly does his ultimate in the HD collection and it's kind of censored, it's because of the... Um, Japan standards for violence and whatever that all changed so yeah or at least for that that's what I hear that's why the anime for super is not as bloody <clears throat> sorry I'm just enjoying this cooler yep so we get to look at um, some of the ultimates. I don't think this game has any cutscenes like um, Infinite World had. Alright, so let's get to it. So my first impressions of the video, or I mean the game, is that it is a lot of fun. Uh, it had a lot of cool fun, uh, fan service too. The only letdowns I had was when I, you know, got the game and actually played it all the way through an HD collection, was that um, the characters they added weren't enough um, for what I thought. You know, I thought from Budokai 1 to 2, there was a lot of characters that were added, and then from 2 to 3, there's just a few. So when um, I actually played Infinite World, that's when I was like, yes, that's about how much I wanted in characters. And then as for the gameplay, I thought they did really, really good with it. Um, sorry to say, but yeah, I do prefer the Infinite World gameplay a little more though. Because uh, you can, you know, um, use your special wherever you want in a combo. And right here you can't. Um, and then Dragon Rush is a little let down for me. Um, it's uh, like I'm trying to say this game is not bad at all like I really really enjoy it but Infinite World is a little better for me uh, at least in terms of the gameplay and then also you know the characters I was that was more of what I expected than the HD collection uh, What else can I say? Well, I mean, for what I did right now, it was fun. Uh, the gameplay is cool. <laughs> uh, even though I don't have many, uh, many powers yet, or techniques. And I'm sorry, I'm also like looking at the screen and I'm like, yeah, I like all that stuff. <laughs> mm. Oh, I really like the stages though. They did add a lot. I remember that. What else? Um, the what if stuff was cool. The story mode was uh, also good because it was different. Like, yes, you go through the entire series, but you do it as each character um, did it. So only let down for this. Uh, I think it would have been nicer if they made it a little longer. If they had like, you know, fights against Ulibu and Raccoon, like for Yamcha. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty good. Alright, so overall guys, what do you guys think about this game? Uh, I recommend checking it out. It's one of the best Dragon Ball games out there. Uh, you would have to get a PS2 or PS3 though. And then, um, I'm pretty excited for Dragon Ball Fighters. I will be getting it, unboxing it, and also doing a first impression similar to this video. Uh, but obviously I'm going to be a lot more blind to it because I also haven't played the beta for it. Um, and I don't plan to do anything until the game is released. Like, see what they actually put out for us, and yeah, try it out. But that's all for this one, so thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.